Goodbye, cruel We'll remember you the fondly. Calling and there's no time for an encore. Thanks for making the run a little shorter and a little less painful. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Thank you and uh, good night. <laughs> Hey, we did it! We got everybody killed! Yeah! We're one step closer to the platinum! Hello everybody and welcome back to my full platinum experience video series. Today we're going to be going over the newest game from Supermassive, The Quarry. And I'm going to be recording my entire experience from start to finish leading up to the Platinum, and I'm going to be highlighting all of the entertaining and trophy-relevant moments from this experience, and combining it all into one video for your viewing pleasure. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and hopefully if you guys are considering going for the Platinum yourselves in this game, hopefully you could take something away from this video. Anyways, have fun watching. Alright. I think it's about time that we start this bitch. This is the quarry, and I'm playing it. That's about it. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic. I was place. on the same Wait, page so... as him. Hey, eyes on the road. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck was that? Max. It's just so damn good. Silence. Wait. Bitch. I know she won't be there. I know. It's in my nature. You play enough horror games, you walk directly at the threat. Like, that's it just that's just what happens once you get comfortable. Once these things stop spooking you, and you're not afraid to play or watch, you just... The inquisitive nature kicks in. Run right at it, dude. Hey, be careful. Yeah, just take a load off. Let your girlfriend... I'm just... You know, I'm scoping it out. What a punk little bitch! What the f but yo, what the fuck? Okay, if I was that guy, I'd be fucking ashamed of myself. It has nothing to do with being sexist, but I mean, like, come on. This goes both ways. You gonna let your significant other head into the darkness alone? What a punk, dude. Lost so much respect for this guy. I think our imagination. <laughs> Dude, this guy doesn't say a word? You're not even gonna writhe in pain? I'm sorry, dude. Fight or flight. I wanna live. And you also, you're a bit of a bitch. Sorry, sorry pussy! I'm out! Later, bitch! You didn't find anything, and so I have nothing to show you. Don't help me. Wait, I miss shit? Aw, oh, no. You said so. Trophy! Oh fuck, I'm blocking trophies. No! Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? I mean, he kinda is. A little bit. <laughs> that is not the look of a charmer! <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck is that face? <laughs> There's your fucking Tinder profile pic right there, baby. Mmm, bit of a charmer. Swipe right. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line, or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. I guess we'll just have to find out. 
Wait, you just fully said your plan, and then now you're gonna actually do it with a fucking witness? Huh? Well, you probably shouldn't break shit, because breaking seems a little permanent. Stealing, however, the situation can be fixed. Jacob! What? No, dude, please, d d d don't- long. Oh, dick! What? Why does Whoa. he even have oh. my phone? There it is. Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> okay, what the <laughs> fuck? No, stop! Stop! Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. Wow, little asshole. What is this face? <laughs> what is this face? What the fuck? What are you gonna do to him? <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do to him? Oh god! Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry, I... Peace and love, man. I... Oh, yeah, don't fucking yeah, murder me in my sleep. Holy shit. Alright. Fuck this place. I'm out. Hey, look. L1 actually is speed walk. Just like Little Hope. Which is the only reason why I tried it. But this game didn't tell me that that was a thing. So, if I didn't already know that because I played Little Hope, I'd be pissed that the game didn't tell me. Because why wouldn't the game tell you how to proceed through the game faster? What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <laughs> the <f> <laughs> oh, no charge? No can do? Well, we're going to see what happens to you tonight. Under the light of darkness, where no one will know. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> the fuck, dude? <sighs> okay. Empty handed. Find my cards and I can help you. Apparently, I missed even more Find shit. What me. the fuck? Am I, am I a trophy hunter, guys? That question is certainly being brought into the spotlight. I apparently, I am shit at my job. Because I haven't found shit. Alright, I guess we're good. See, that fucking old bitch keeps saying, Hey, find my cards, bitch. Where the fuck are they? No, I absolutely scared Jacob. What the fuck? Can't pass up an opportunity like this. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's an easy decision. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Cause you're about to. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! He better be wearing the brown pants. <laughs> you're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> you think it's funny now, little boy? I. Oh, cause... You want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that? Somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Moment's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Jacob. I'll do it myself. I'm a strong, independent woman. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Wait, am I? <laughs> done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> what is a fucking horror <laughs> sound effect? Come on, I'll spot you. I can't get over this guy. What the hell's his name? Nick. Nick. Nick, if you're watching, this is what you could be. He's every woman's dream, dude. This guy right here, he's wholesome. He's chill. He's got it all, dude. The looks, the accent. Mm. I think I might be crushing on Nick. 
And I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn or Dylan. Wow. Caitlyn all the way, dude. Damn, she's all about it. Who shall I pick? Dylan is a little uh, disappointed. He is? Good point. I didn't know he swung that way. I didn't think I'd be letting anyone down. Oh, this is... What is happening right now? Oh my, sit on his lap and everything. What? What is happening? What is happening? What? Damn! <laughs> He's getting into it! What more has been I haven't seen one, bitch. You return without any more of my cards. Because I haven't I seen fact. any! I don't even know how to get one! I don't know what they I look like! It's not my fault! Are they that well That's hidden? I have to say. She wouldn't Seeking be telling me to find them if they weren't again, out there. So, yeah, they're just that well hidden. Let's That's crazy. Damn, I didn't peg Jacob to be so sentimental and sensitive, dude. Holy shit. What? Wait, what? That's... Wait, the camera just pans to them and you pick them up? So how the fuck have I been missing them if they're that easy to spot? No way I've missed that many cards. And, and they're the... I can't believe. I can't believe it. Oh my no! Wait! Wait, what? Um, I mean, we could get it later. Abby needs us now. Okay, so someone fucking tell me, how the fuck did the rotor arm get in the water? You're telling me Jacob stripped down to nothing but his boxers, and he put the rotor arm, I guess, in his boxers. Instead of leaving them in his clothes that he took off that have pockets. Boxers don't have pockets. So he stuck it in his pants. He fucking put it in between the elastic and the fucking... And his skin. And then he went in the water and lost it. That That is the stupidest fucking way to lose that shit. I knew it was going to happen. It's fucking obvious it was going to happen because it's their condition for leaving. It's an important item, so obviously it's going to get lost. But that's how you lose it? That is the stupidest, dumbest shit. I got to get the boy, dude. Okay, I got this. Because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. A bear? There's no way. Oh my god, if Nick becomes a fucking dog man, I'm gonna be pissed. No, not the boy! It's okay. We should amputate. Fuck off. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. You don't even know that's what that is, you dumb bitch! You can't just make those calls, those assumptions. No, yeah, you are an idiot. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. I don't get why Dylan would jump to the supernatural. Like, that. it's just to put that idea in the player's head. That's all it is. Because there's no sense in that. Why would you assume that that's what that is? Bye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I have bear spray? I don't even remember getting that. Fuck that. Ah! Uh, what? Sure. Bah! What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, zipline time, baby! Yeah! Let's get the. See ya, nerd. Oh shit, that's a rapid tap. Yeah. You made it. Oh, that's inconvenient. Damn, he looks creepy. I like it. Fuck the 
spray. It's not gonna work. No, I'm gonna. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna real quick. <laughs> oh God! Please don't kill me. How did you get through there? What about the toolbox? Come on. I'm jumping. Fuck that. Sayonara, bitch! Put that back, Dylan. Hell no. So it's okay to have one gun to protect us, but not two? I'm sorry, if you're gonna be okay with one gun, why not two? Don't be fucking stupid. Um, okay? Am I not in his fucking sight? What are you, blind? What? What? No, this is stupid. What the fuck? You're telling me a hunter who fucking hunts at night? This was dumb. You're telling me his eyes aren't adjusted to the dark? Um. N oh, fuck! No! Oh, no. I can't believe I screwed that up. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean. Okay, like that was sus. She's mine. <gasps> oh, he is turning. Oh, Nick's becoming Dogman. Oh no. Hello, how's it going out there? This is uh, uh we need help. This is uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, <laughs> we don't know what to do. So please uh, come help us, SOS. <laughs> <laughs> that look of judgment. Is it a bear? It's, oh my god, what the bears, man. What the fuck? Do you have eyes? Does it look like a bear? It really, really doesn't. Like, at all. In any way, shape, or form. No way, you're gonna die! No way, man! I'm not dismembering you! This isn't you! I <gasps> oh my oh, Abby. god! Oh no! Nick! No! I mean. That. <coughs> You crossed the line, Nick! You knew this was coming! Oh my... It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first. No, I mean, I trust the cop now. I don't really want to fuck him over. Is she crazy? Stop Laura from doing what? You gonna show me? Oh! Why would you- Laura, What have you done? Why would you just shoot him? What the fuck? Laura, you- What? I'm so confused. That was so dumb. She just shoots him. You don't even know who that was. What the fuck? Not to mention it's locked up. It's not a threat. Why would you? And we're in the house trying to be quiet. Like what? Y you just shoot him. Yeah, no, just shoot him. Why not? Because it's fucking idiotic. I wish I stopped her, but 
the camera wasn't showing me what she was doing. The game just said, stop, Laura, and it's just zoomed in on Ryan. I'm like, that was bullshit. I would have 100% stopped her if I had to realize what was happening. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. The fuck? That's dumb. Also, so I'm so confused. They dragged Laura. Oh! Oh my God! She's gone, little Bobby. Mom's gone. Yeah, her her face is, you know, in pieces. I'd say she's gone. And now she doesn't have a gun. She where's the shotgun she was just holding? Okay, hang on. like so many dumb things are happening like too fast. It's it's hard for me to keep up. So Travis sneaks up on Laura in the basement, comes up behind her, puts her in an arm lock. And then cut to them upstairs where she's still holding the shotgun. So Travis didn't try to disarm her or nothing. Just somehow dragged her upstairs while she had the gun the whole time. Does anyone else have many questions here? Many. And then she runs out of the room without the gun. Why? You uh, okay? I, so I think it was a double barrel shotgun. She fired one into the werewolf in the basement, and her second shot into the old lady. But like, she has no more ammo. She only came with two fucking bullets. I find that kind of hard to believe. She came here from the police station, and that room that her and Max found, like they stocked up on shit. She had to have more bullets, like. Oh god, Ryan! Pull knife? Mmm. Sure. They get. <laughs> they give you a limited time option to decide on whether or not you're pulling out the knife or leaving it in, and then the very next decision is do you want to go back on your decision? Also, there's no timer this time. <laughs> what? Sure, let's pull it out. Dude, apparently wounds are just superficial in this game. Like, like even Dylan's so quick to say, CUT OFF MY FUCKING ARM! And the whole reason I didn't want to dismember him and I was against it was because wouldn't you just fucking bleed out and die from the wound? It's not like we have uh, readily available uh, first aid equipment. That's why I didn't want to cut off his arm. But apparently that would have been okay because it would have stopped him from becoming a werewolf. So he must have been able to live. Was that shit? Was that a bucket of shit? Holy shit. Feces. But now, see, uh, thinking back on that, that's why I decided, hey, Ryan, why don't you just pull out the knife? Because apparently the wounds don't fucking matter. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker. You're a fucker. Oh! Nice one, Ryan. Got him. No, you're a fucker. What reason could you possibly have? What? Yeah, no, we're, I'm running hiding from people in the house trying to kill me. But no, let's stop and play the piano. Oh, shit. That means the... Oh, wait, but the werewolf's dead. That's convenient. <laughs> wait. So, if Laura didn't do what I was appalled by earlier, Jacob would have been pretty fucked right now. That's really funny. <laughs> Jacob would have been dead as shit if Laura didn't randomly kill that werewolf. I wonder who that was. Oh, shit! Kayla, no! I'm sorry, I fucked up!
Oh shit, yo! That was intense. Silver shells. Don't just take the one, take them all. Idiot. Look, they're right there. Pick them up! Oh my god, I'm so sick of seeing really dumb shit. For literally no reason. Like, I don't understand how you can do that so consistently when you're writing a story. Why do you keep having dumb shit? Like, I can understand one or two little things, but when it's six or seven little things over and over, it adds up. And then it adds to the overall stupidity. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. <laughs> Ryan's so freaked out. Stop doing werewolf things, Laura. Let's just find another way down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good night! Lights out! I killed Chris Hackett, I think. Again, we made an assumption. Oh shit, it worked. So killing Chris, oh my god. <laughs> so killing Chris just cures everyone. Again, I'm really not understanding why. But Chris became a werewolf somehow. So if Chris ever wanted to get fixed, he would have had to kill whatever bit him. So, killing Chris doesn't save all werewolves. There still has to be some werewolves that were not bitten by Chris. So how the hell do you save those people? I, I don't get it. I don't understand Chris is dead. Huh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. Obviously fucking not. not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? It's common sense. <laughs> Probably because you were a fucking werewolf five seconds ago. How the hell am I gonna get down? That's one way. Asked an answer. Where the hell are my clothes? Emma took them. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Ah! Wait, wait, what? What? Oh, are these Laura's clothes? <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that... I was not expecting that. Great fucking turnout. Love it. Gotta say, though, these pants make Max's ass look fucking tremendous. I mean, look at it. Tell me you disagree. You'd be fucking lying to yourself. No wonder girls wear tight pants all the time. Like, it's just... It's just too goddamn alluring and eye-catching. Imagine if men did this. Well, some of them already do. Not all men have asses that were created equal. And Max was blessed down below. That is for certain. Oh, man. See, I don't know if there's a tarot card in here, and I haven't... I haven't checked everywhere in this room. And mostly due to the fact that this room is fucking massive, and for me to stand in literally every fucking nook and cranny to see if the camera angle changes to show me a tarot card hidden that has yet to be revealed, that could be a thing! It could happen! So now I gotta waste my time standing everywhere. Hello, tarot card? You in this back corner here? No? Fuck! This game is notoriously fucking dark. Like... Oh, here we go. Excellent! That's what we're looking for. But yeah, uh, once I beat this first uh, playthrough, I am 100% like cranking the brightness to probably max. Uh, not the character, I mean the, uh, the maximum threshold. Okay, so we got a tarot card. That was... Cool, because 
as I am now discovering, I don't actually have to be up here, which means finding that card was completely optional. Wunderbar! Keep looking, prepare for attack. No, I'm gonna keep looking. I'm not done, bitch. Maybe I should keep looking. Yeah. Maybe you should. Who knows what you'll find? Like, for example, what the fuck's over here? You ever think of that? You gotta be more open-minded about these things, Caitlin. Especially when trophies are involved. We don't earn trophies just to sit on our ass. Well, okay, sometimes you do. Depending on the trophy. But let's not get bogged down in the details, okay? <laughs> Memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep. Though nobody got to meet him this year. Aww. <laughs> oh no! No, Ian! Cut down in his prime! God damn it! All oh, the horror! Man, I wanted to meet Ian the sheep. I am thoroughly disappointed. Alright. 3 out of 10. The quarry. Would not play again. Just kidding, we have to to platinum. Plus, this game's pretty damn cool. Evidence! Ah, oh, see, look at that! We got more evidence! See, if I had prepared to attack and just thrown caution to the wind and didn't even bother to finish exploring, I would have got fucked! Because we need all the evidence for the trophy! Let that be a lesson to you youngins! You rookie trophy hunters out there! I've been doing this a long time, I know a thing or three. Dude, Jacob needs a, a redeeming scene of some kind, because he's definitely... I you, I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't mean to interrupt your moment there, Jacob. Fuck. I just want one more night together. I did too much to ask for. <laughs> shit. Stop crying, you big baby. Yeah, Jacob. Suck it up, Buttercup. You can do this. Aww. <laughs> Poor Jacob. Man, I feel bad for this character. I was literally about to roast him, too. I was about to say how he's easily the least interesting character out of everyone in the game. That's quite an entrance. Looks pretty jank, but I suppose it got the job done. You, you, you gonna just stand there and stare at it, Caitlin? I'd also like to mention, you do not have silver bullets. Yeah, we're definitely running. <laughs> she did that with, like, no urgency at all. Oh no, the plastic toy chair didn't hold! Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. Beam. I feel bad about the window. I got bad vibes. Come on, girl! Oh my god, he can do it too! That's terrifying. <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> what the fuck? That was the biggest fail I've ever seen from one of them. Uh, no, we're running. Fuck hiding. I'm against it. 90% of the time, I'm against it. Yeah, fuck him up, Caitlin. Oh yeah. Damn, she loaded that fast. I didn't even hear it. No way I missed. Caitlin, I'm sorry. No! I missed. No, Caitlin. No. Oh no. How did I miss? I can't believe I fucking missed, dude. What the fuck? I had that shit lined up. Apparently not, though. Dude, the aim in this game is jank. I call bullshit. I absolutely should have hit that motherfucker. God damn it. I really liked Caitlyn, too. Dude, I know Travis was kind of a dick in the beginning, but I really don't dislike the character at all like i feel like the game's trying to make him out to be this huge asshole but i i just don't see it i was getting that vibe from his family members but not him 
Although Chris seemed okay. Okay, that got me. My heart stopped for a second. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, do it. This is why we came here! Why wouldn't I? That was him? I... That was very anticlimactic. I was expecting, like, a huge fucking battle. Uh, I, I, I'm so mad, man. I would have had the fucking trophy for everyone surviving if I just didn't fucking miss. Oh, I feel so robbed. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several. <laughs> Again with the fucking bear. <laughs> <laughs> Freak bear attack! <laughs> That's hilarious, dude! Fucking bears! Oh my god. No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. Just give me your fucking key, Tom. Oh my god, is it over? They've stopped talking completely. Can I get my trophy now? Holy shit, I gotta say. And I just went through this with another game recently. It's just, it's just so cruel and there's no reason for it. Like, I should absolutely be allowed to skip this. Especially since now the fucking podcast has stopped. Like, okay, if you want to say this, I still don't agree with it. But if you want to say, oh, they have to listen to the podcast. It's part of the game's content and the lore and what happens afterward. It's like... Fine, whatever. I still hate that you can't skip it, but fine. What's happening right now? What is happening right now on screen? Floating text, no music, no fucking dialogue. And guess what? I can't fucking skip it. That is pathetic. There is absolutely no reason or good justification for this. And yes, I have to literally sit through this bullshit right now, uh, simply just for a trophy. Yep. The assholes went ahead and put a trophy at the end of this shit. Just to make you sit there and have to wait. Although, this will be the only time I do this. Because once I have that trophy, which should be any second now, uh, I'll, I'll just be able to quit to main menu, uh, during the credits. There we go. <sighs> You've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. Enable the Death Rewind feature now? Yes, that'll be very helpful for trophy hunting. All right, so there is actually another trophy uh, that we need to get right now. I believe it's at Chapter 9. So we need to go back to chapter 9, and I think we're going to be playing for a bit, unfortunately, until we get to the trophy that we actually need. Fine. Fine. Fine! <sighs> oh, yeah! Oh, so if you redo hold your breath moments, even ones that you already did, yeah, that counts towards the trophy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dick? Yeah. Piano. What a dick for being a fucking piano and working as intended. Fuck you. Alright, so we needed to get back to this part because this is where Laura, very shortly, is going to offer to bite Ryan in order to save him from his wound. Nope, we are not doing this. I think one of us needs to stay. You're a fucking asshole. Damn, okay. You don't have to make me feel bad about it. You don't understand, it's for a trophy. Gotta shoot Chris. Oh, wow, okay, that worked. The auto really did work. It just fucking won it for me, cool. So with Travis and Ryan both have, being dead, this is what makes getting this trophy possible. 
and we couldn't have tried to shoot Travis in the police station because then uh, Laura and Travis would have automatically killed each other during the struggle uh, just before shooting Chris. So we needed to make sure we didn't try to shoot Travis beforehand and once Ryan bleeds out, that allows you to grab the shotgun for yourself and kill Travis. Oh, I can't wait to see Laura's reaction when she sees Max in her clothes. Yay! Trophy in the bag, baby! Let's go! Lost, man. Max. <laughs> yeah. What are you wearing? Oh, you mean this old thing? Just something I threw together. <laughs> Your eye looks a whole lot better. Yeah. Aww. As touching as that reunion is, it's pretty sad that, like, Ryan has to die in order for that to happen. That makes me pretty sad. Alright, well, that's that trophy. Moving on to the next one. Alright, so it's time to start our second run, which is going to be... Uh, our kill Get Everyone Killed run. Good luck. So apparently, it's unbelievable that I missed that. Unfreaking believable that I missed that. <laughs> when I first started this game, I walked around this rock on the right side of it and then just totally bypassed the tarot card. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we are finally on chapter four, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we don't shoot yet, because we can't even see him. It was probably nothing. Okay. So, do I get to find out if I even hit him? All right, let's go. How about a kill confirmed? I just want to know if I killed him. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! Jacob, you're an idiot. Why would you not say anything? Jacob died. Do you want to try and save him? You have three lives remaining. No. What's done is done. He's dead. No takesies, backsies. <laughs> they don't even know they killed him. Bye, Emma. Goodbye, cruel We'll remember world. you fondly. Calling and there's no time for an encore. Thanks for making the run a little shorter and a little less painful. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Thank you and uh, good night. <laughs> Sorry, Travis. Oh, yes. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? Sorry, Dylan. It's out of my hands. <laughs> Get it? You don't have one. Oh, shit. Bye, Dylan! Oh, oh! That look on his face. He was genuinely terrified. Oh! He finished the job! <laughs> Oh my god, the hand wasn't enough. Adding insult to injury, he he took the whole arm. Jesus Christ. Get it, Nate. Oh no. 
Not my favorite character! <laughs> this is so funny. Well, my second favorite character is about to follow suit. Bring it on, motherfucker, you crocked ass cop piece of shit! I'm not scared of you, come on! <laughs> you should be, Ryan. You should be. Oh no. Good night. No! Oh, no, my two favorite characters dead. No, <laughs> this better have a great fucking ending. Oh, I can assure you, it doesn't, Max. This outcome here is fucking hilarious. Like, I feel like any sane person would swim back to shore. Like, why would you even stay on the island? Who in the right mind would think that that is the wiser option out of the two? And then, turns out, the game expected that. The game expected you to be smart. So here's your punishment. Good night. That's what you get for trying to be smart, bitch. Holy shit, you don't have a lot of time there at all. Damn, he closed the gap so fast. Hey, we did it! We got everybody killed! Yeah! We're one step closer to the platinum. Alright, so let's, uh... Yeah, you know. Um, so if we want just Caitlyn to live... I think we just jumped to chapter 10, no? Run! Caleb, you done. I don't know where it went. Yeah! The final go! Alright, so now we're going to chapter 9, which is a rather long chapter, but there is quite a few steps in order for Ryan to actually survive. I wonder what happens if you distract. What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> That's what I'm saying! What is she doing? What? Hey, little bitch. I'm singing off key. <laughs> what? Oh, no! Run, run. What was that? <laughs> what? That was so stupid! What the fuck? Bitch! Hack 2! That God goddamn face. bitch spit in my face! <laughs> that was so stupid! Stab, yes! Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, it fucking hurts, don't it? I've never been stabbed before! <laughs> Leave me alone! Ow, it. Really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> what a bumpkin. Yes, we are definitely getting bit because Ryan, for all intents and purposes, has to survive. Do it. It's kind of the whole point of the trophy. And we need to survive our wounds. If we don't get bit, we die automatically, no matter what. Holy 
shit, Chris kills them all, dude! Bro, what the fuck? Chris kills everyone if you stab Bobby. What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> This is it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! Ryan, no! So basically, uh, we're gonna we're about to run into Emma, and she has changed. She's become a werewolf now. And Dylan's gonna open the car and unleash Emma upon us. And you have exactly three seconds to shoot Emma. And she's moving very fast. And if you miss, this is easily the hardest shot to make in the game. And if you miss the shot, uh, Abigail is instantly killed. So, yeah, we, we really can't afford to fuck this up. Shoot her! Ah, bro. No! Oh my god. There we go. Caitlin, the silver. Use the silver shell. No. What if it's Nick? What if it isn't? It, it's definitely not. But either way. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here, Emma. Slam dunk it! Alright, Caitlin. You're the last one. Yay! Everyone's infected! Poggers! I find it absolutely crazy. Like, Abby was one of the first people to get infected. She's not even showing. Like, her eyes aren't yellow. You can't see, like, the dark marks on her skin. Like, I thought I would have at least seen that by now. I only have one trophy left to get. And that is the peanut butter butter pops. To never miss in a combat encounter. This trophy's a pain in the ass because you can't combine this trophy with any other run in the game. This trophy has to have its own separate run. God damn it. No, no. Not my uh, Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my peanut butter butter pops. 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 God damn you! God damn you, T-Money. What did you do to my peanut butter yeah. butter pops? I'm not happy about something up there. No, Laura, stop, please. You don't know what you're doing. This is a mistake. Whammo! Bid farewell to Nick Laura. as we send him off into that sweet what good night. Doing? Goodbye! We're nearly there. Hello, Caleb. For the final time. Yay! I didn't miss! Hey Travis, I'm gonna move your head because you don't know how to do it yourself. There we go. Alright, I think that was like literally the last thing I had to worry about. Uh, when you get over there, they prompt you. you 
to raise your gun, and it is important that you say yes. And then you just shoot him, and he's a stationary target, and they give you plenty of time. Can't really see how I would fuck that up. Unless, of course, I missed. That would be the most tremendous fuck-up of my trophy hunting career, I think. I don't think I would have ever fucked up harder than if I were to miss shooting Silas. That would be absolutely fucking unbelievable. And now I'm building it up to be this, uh... Crazy dramatic event, uh, which is, if anything, only inviting the possibility of failure. Please so that's there. good. All right, Matt, don't get cold feet now. Ah! Well, that's it. Well, it's finally done. I platinum the game, and I can honestly say I don't even feel accomplished. Uh, I'm just glad it's fucking over. Thank God I could put this shit to bed. And the next time I see footage of this game, it'll be too soon. This is one of those platinums that, like, once you get it, you, you're already dead inside. Your soul has left your body, and you just want to forget that it ever happened. Was it worth it? And that completely depends on the turnout of these videos, hopefully the series of videos that I make resulting from my experience with this game will be re well received, hopefully you guys enjoy them. And if you guys did enjoy this video in particular, then please don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course hit that notification bell to support me, I would really appreciate that, it would mean a lot. As always, for more trophy related content, entertaining stuff as well as guides don't forget to keep up to date with my channel anyways that's gonna be it for me so take it easy everybody have a good one and i will definitely see you in the next one